Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. 
Bueno, ya empiezo clase. Night Friday, everyone. And thank you so much for joining. Cool to see you. And uh, um, I hope you're at home. Guys, ya están en casa. Are you home already? O todavía no. Are you on your way? Todavía están en camino. I'm sorry about that. My um uh, my earphones suffered an accident. Okay, guys. So um really, really nice to have you today and thank you so much for your time. Gracias por conectarse siempre a la sesión y super early. I hope you get to your house sound and safe. Y los que ya están en casa, pues really cool um, that you're at home already. Now, uh, well, guys, today is Friday, so TGIF. Uh, thanks, God, it's Friday. Vamos a trabajar con un par de, uh, you know, details related to um, Unit 2. Especialmente, guys, ya vamos, eh, like, with simple past, vamos a trabajar con eh, pasados, right? Ayer lo iniciamos, no trabajamos, like, super super en detalle. Pero ahora sí, right? So, ya vamos a empezar a trabajar, like, some details. Eh, in simple past, como hacer preguntas, negative two. And we are going to try to... Um, make stories as well. Vamos a intentar trabajar un poquito con storytelling y vamos a ver si nos funciona, right? Eh, guys, quick question. ¿Logran ver mi pantalla? Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Ok, es que yo no la veo. Qué raro. Ok. Well, but if you watch it, if you see it, that is ok. All right, guys. So um, now, uh, first, vamos a practicar un par de conversaciones. We're going to practice a couple of conversations. Luego vamos a ir practicando los pasados, right? Que ya los comenzamos, but eh, nos faltan bastante. Vamos a trabajar pronunciación también con algunos verbos eh, regulares que no nos hemos metido en el tema. We have not checked regular verbs so far. Nos hemos dedicado solamente a like uh, irregular verbs, but we got to practice that a little bit. So guys, uh, let's get started. Vamos a iniciar trabajando con un par de uh, conversaciones. So we're going to practice a couple of conversations we have in simple past. And then uh, ya vamos, you know, entrándonos like little by little. So uh, to get started, les tengo la conversación número uno. I have like a couple of conversations that are super common topics, nada complicado, nothing like super complicated. And uh, guys, in this conversation, so we have these two people. So we have man and then we have the woman. Y vamos a practicar uh, what the woman says, right? Vamos a practicar qué es lo que uh, she says over here. So, um, guys, repitan conmigo, please uh, repeat with me. Y luego, maybe I can have like two or three people help me with the conversations. Uh, so, first, le vamos a leer la primera. Read with me, please. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? yesterday? Nothing much. Nothing much. Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. Very good. How boring. How, How boring. boring. Yeah, it was. And you, what did you do? Yeah. Yeah, was. it was. And you, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. I drove to the mountains and went hiking. Hiking. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. 
That sounds fun. It was. I had a great time. It was. It was. I, I had a great time. Very good. Okay, guys. So, quick question. Uh, ¿Qué hicieron? What did they do on the weekend? ¿Qué fue lo que ellos hicieron? Eh, ella eh, limpió la casa. Limpió la casa. Okay. Y él okay. mantuvo en las montañas. Ah, ok, ok. Lo que hizo ella fue muy aburrido. Exactly. So for her to clean the house was boring. And I agree with her. That is for sure. Ok, very good. So going back, vamos a regresar one more time. So going back. Tenemos algunos verbos, so guys, repitan conmigo. Repeat with me, please. Here we have stayed. Stayed. Okay. And we have the next one that is cleaned. 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 Okay. Very good. There we go. Thank you so much. Now, vamos con la segunda. Let's go with the second and probably I can have some people... Eh, que me ayuden a leer la siguiente. So help me read. Good evening, teacher. Uh, I had a question. Hi, Debra. Yes, miss. Uh, excuse me, teacher. I don't understand the, the word drove. Oh, drove is the pass of drive. Really, teacher? Yep. I so I drive to the mountains, but if it is pass, you use I drove. Oh, okay. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and let's practice the second. Repeat with me. Let's go ahead one more time. Did you do anything this weekend? Did you do anything this weekend? Very nice. Let's continue. I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. I did. I did. I, did. I, did. I, I took the train, train to the city, to the city and, and, city met, and my met my friend. My friend. Okay. Oh yeah. What did you do? Oh yeah. What oh yeah. Did you do? What did you do? Uh, we had lunch and did some shopping. We had lunch and did some and shopping. shopping. Okay. Uh, did you buy anything? Did you buy, did anything? You buy anything? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I just, I just went, went window, window shopping. shopping. I am trying to save money. I am trying, I am trying, to, trying save money. to save money. To save money. Me, too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay, guys. I really love this conversation. Uh, Tess, estamos hablando de cosas Creo que everybody tries to save money, right? Todos queremos ahorrar dinero. So take a look at this conversation. Uh, first, the woman says, I took the train to the city and I met my friend. So uh, what did she do? Aparte que, que verse con su amigo o su amiga, ¿qué hizo? What did she do? Eh, almorzaron y fueron de compra. Eh, almorzaron juntos. Okay. Eh, y, y luego solo caminaron. Eh, le pregunta que si fueron de compra y le dijo que no, porque están tratando de ahorrar dinero. Ok, very nice, exactly. It says, we had lunch and did some shopping. Esa expresión, guys, que dice, I just went window shopping. So, window shopping is lo que todos hacemos, o la mayoría somos, right? Que es vitrinear. So you go to, uh -huh, to Metro Centro, to Gale, um, and we don't have money. So we just, I just went window shopping. That is the word. So ella solo fue vitrinear, right? I did some shopping, no necesariamente es que ha comprado. Because she says, no, I didn't. Okay. So, very nice. Guys, can I have two volunteers? Um, ¿Quién quiere leer, guys? Who wants to read? Que nos ayude a leer toda la conversación. Uh, solo dos. I need a girl and a boy. Me, teacher. Me, David. Okay. Thank you, David. So, David, help me with the part of the man. 
And Debra, help me with the part for the woman, please. Okay. Did you do anything this weekend? I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. Oh yeah? What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I tried to save money. <laughs> Me too. Very nice. Very good intonation, guys. I like it. So, especialmente en la parte de preguntas. Excellent job. Okay, so this is what they did, right? So, they just went window shopping and the very general things. Okay, I have just two more conversations so we can practice. And of course, we can have more people uh, participate. Okay, next one, guys. Take a look at this little conversation. It says, um, repeat it conmigo. Repeat with me, please. How was your day? How was your How day? How was your day? Okay. Terrible. I was so busy. Terrible. I was so busy. I was so busy. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's oh, so bad. That's too bad. Yeah, we were so busy at lunch. <laughs> Yeah, we were so busy yeah. at lunch. Okay. Right. One person called in sick, so we were so short staffed. One person called in sick, so we were short staffed. Okay. That's not good. How did you manage? That's, That's not, good. not good. How did, How did you manage? You manage? Mm -hmm. uh, they came. Uh, okay, I think there is a mistake here. Con they. They came in and help us. They came in and help us. Sorry about that. Creo que me comí la Y. So it's they. All right, guys. Then I have two more people. ¿Quién nos ayuda a leer esta? Who wants to help us? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, Luis, ayúdanos con la parte del man. And uh, even if you can help us, that would be nice. Ayúdanos con la parte de woman, please. Okay. Okay, guys, whenever you're ready, acá les ayudamos si necesitan any help. Okay. How was your day? Terrible. I was too bad. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Okay. We were so busy at lunch. One person called in six to we were short sure and safe. That's not good. How did you manage? They came in and helped us. Okay, very nice. Okay, so the conversation actually was very fluent. Thank you guys for that. So, yo puedo hacer la pregunta, what did you do today? ¿Qué hiciste? Pero también puedo hacer esta otra pregunta, right? Para preguntar, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te ha ido? ¿Cómo ha estado tu día? So, ¿cuál es la pregunta, guys? What is the question? How was your day? How was your day? Exactly. Now, eh, guys, repitan conmigo, please. Vamos a solamente repetir un par de verbos here. So, repeat with me. Cold. Cold. Okay, Cold. very good. Okay, now this one, helped. Help. Helped. 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 Help. Okay, agreguemosle como una T al final. Helped. 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 Okay, very nice. Yes, I, 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 I have a big question. Uh, when regular verb. Okay, uh, what's your question? En la terminación siento que no todos terminan con el mismo sonido. Uh, yes, that is right. Y de hecho ya vamos a practicarlo. Esa es el, uh, okay, parte okay. de las cosas que todavía no hemos tocado. But no worries. Ya uh, casi uh, llegamos. Uh, <laughs> We are almost there. No comances. Ok, guys. Very nice. And uh, we are going to just practice one more, right? And it's a very short one. So, guys, repeat with me, please. Let's take a look here. Uh, so, let's repeat. Did you talk to Bob? 
Did you talk to Bob? Did you talk to Bob? Okay. I did. He said he was sorry. I did. I did. He I said did. we was he sorry. Was sorry. Was sorry. What did he say? What, what did, did he, he say? say? He said he didn't mean to get mad at you. He said okay. he didn't, he didn't, didn't, didn't mean to get mad, mad at you. At you. Okay. Well, he did. Well, he did. Well, he, did. He, did. he made me cry. He made, he me, made cry. me cry. I know, I but know. he is really sorry about it. I know, I know. but he is he's really but sorry he's about really it. Sorry about, he's really sorry about it. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, quick question. Uh, what happened here? Siento que fue una, una disculpa que salió mal. Okay, probably una disculpa que salió mal. Any other opinion? What do you think, guys? Any idea? Leamos, like, read it, read it, try to get it, y acá mismo está la respuesta. You, you will find the answer here. So, ¿qué sucedió? What happened? What is the most, um, the most important thing? Or uh, what happened in, in this story? El, el hombre le pregunta a la mujer que se habló con vos, ¿verdad? Okay. Y, y, y dice que lo hizo, ¿verdad? Pero eh, manifiesta que, que, que lo sentía. Eh, okay. y le preguntó de qué que, que más le había dicho eh, dice que no tenía como la intención de, de enojarse o de enfadarse okay. Ay, que la hizo sin, embargo, la sin embargo lo hizo y, y al mismo tiempo la hizo llorar okay. pero, pero realmente lo sentía o sea. exactly I mean and that is like the part right it says he said he didn't mean to get mad at you so no se quería enojar like most likely Parece que se enojó en la historia, right? But those are like things that sometimes, eh, pues ya lo he hecho, no se puede hacer, right? <laughs> okay, but, but actually the conversation is full of verbs in simple past. Si se fijan, el día de ayer veíamos was and were. Acá lo tenemos. He said he was sorry. So él dijo que él se arrepentía, right? What did he say? He said, ah, look, el pasado de say, de decir, es said. He said, he didn't mean to get mad at you. Oh, también tenemos la forma negativa, that is didn't, ya la vamos a practicar. He made me cry, so past as well. And we have like a lot of different things here. Very good job, guys. Now, vamos a, a, a ir poquito a poquito. We're going to go like little by little. Because uh, eh, quiero evitar que nos vayamos a confundir. I want to avoid any confusion, all right? Especialmente porque for some reason, eh, el verbo to be se tiende a confundir with others. So, uh, guys, vamos a revisar un poquito de verb, eh, verb to be and simple past tense, right? And la diferencia entre ellos. So, el día de ayer, guys, veíamos un poquito la parte de was and where, si se recuerda. And we had, for example, eh, decíamos que utilizamos eh, was, right, con, so we normally use it with I, with third person singular, that's going to be she, we're going to have he, and we're going to have it. And then we use where para plurales, we're going to use it for plural. We're gonna use it for you, for a day, and for a week. So um, now, with that being said, el uso es lo mismo que se usa en presente, right? Si yo quiero describir personalidad, oh, yo era, yo estaba, right? Yo estaba en un lugar, so verb be. Había, lo mismo, vamos otra vez, there is and there are, se convierte, and there was, and there were. Solo hago el cambio, right? Now, uh, for example, si I'm describing myself, y yo, digo, y yo digo, cuando estaba pequeña, I, um, 
Eh, ok, vamos a utilizar esta pequeñita. So, I am shy. Si hablo del pasado, lo único que hago es cambiar esto a pasado. I was shy. Now, um, guys, ¿cómo creen que puedo decir lo opuesto? ¿Cómo puedo hacer esto into a negative sentence? So, I was shy, ¿cómo lo hago negativo? Wasn't. Exactly. So, this one was... Uh, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregar wasn't, right? Or was not to make it negative. No vamos a agregar nada más que el muy not. Como cuando digo, I am not interested. I am not uh, satisfied. En pasado es lo mismo. I was not satisfied. I was not interested. So, was negativo, was not, or wasn't, right? Si fuera con uh, plurales, for example, my friends, we are talkative, so talk. All right, but I want to say the opposite, pero quiero expresar la idea opuesta es lo mismo. En vez de were, yo voy a utilizar were not o la forma de contracción weren't. My friends weren't super talkative. Ellos no eran hablantines, right? So ellos no eran, eh, they weren't, or yo no era, I wasn't. Eh, dudas, preguntas, questions. No, Miss. Okay, cool. So, pretty much, esto, guys, es solamente el verbo to be. This is only verb to be, right? Now, super important. Yo también le puedo hacer preguntas. So I can ask questions. Yo puedo preguntarle, ¿estuviste en tu casa? Right? Yo le puedo preguntar, eh, ¿eras, ¿eras un buen estudiante? ¿Eras aplicado? Right? O cuando tenías 10 años, eh, ¿eras alto? ¿Eras hablantín? So, ¿cómo puedo hacer preguntas? ¿Se recuerdan de la, lo básico de verb to be in questions? Que hacíamos un cambio, que girábamos. So, here, como usamos el mismo verb to be, vamos a hacer el mismo cambio. Uh, so, for example, si yo le quiero preguntar, um, ¿cuántos, ¿cuántos años tenías? Let's say, so, how old were you, right? Oh, ya se convierte en cuántos años tenías. How old were you, right? Quiero preguntarle, like, ¿estuviste en tu casa en la tarde? So, where? Normalmente la, la oración va como you were at home. Pero si yo quiero hacer esto en una pregunta, primero va el verbo to be y luego you. Entonces, solo lo único que voy a hacer, guys, para no complicarnos la vida, es primero where you at home. Siempre se va a poner el verb to be. I'm going to write it here. To be más el sujeto. And that's it. So, were you at home? Quiero preguntar, por ejemplo, si ahora es viernes. Or, oh no, well, como es pasado, voy a preguntar si ayer fue jueves. Guys, ¿cómo preguntarían si ayer fue jueves? Was yesterday. It was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Vaya, armémosla. Let's put it together. Remember, esto es una prueba y error. So let's put it together. Primero, según esto, necesito el verbo to be. Sería was. Ok. Yeah, porque estamos hablando de un día, right? So was. Y luego, hay varias formas de hacerlo acá. So. It. Ok, podemos utilizar it perfectamente. Was it? Era. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Thursday. Ok, exactly. Was it yesterday, Thursday? Es una forma de hacerlo. Creo que alguien dijo otra forma que era más como Was it eh, Thursday, yesterday? 
or okay. was yesterday Thursday? Ah, oh, sí, más o menos. Sí, eso es lo que so, es. Ahí okay. el acuerdo lo tienes que hacer con tu mamá. So we have like a couple of ways to ask questions, right? Pero el orden siempre va a ser uh, was yesterday Thursday todavía funciona. Pero la idea es que siempre el verbo to be was or were va primero. Quiero preguntar, por ejemplo, eh, ¿te dio miedo? Uh, imagine, for example, that you say, um, I don't know, que fueron a ver eh, serpientes, right? Fueron a un serpentario. And I ask you, oh, ¿te dio miedo? Guys, ¿cómo puedo preguntar? ¿Te dio miedo? Uh, you were scared. Okay, so I'm going to write it. You were scared. Pero como scared. es una pregunta, yeah. voy a tener que cambiar el orden. So, en vez de you were, ¿qué voy a hacer? Were you, were were you, you scared? Exactly, solo lo cambio. Were you scared, right? Imagine Because I tell I'm you. Afraid? Yeah. Afraid que es? Afraid es el mismo eh, tener miedo. La diferencia es que por lo general afraid lleva más elementos. Afraid lleva of. Uh, y se usa un poquito diferente. Pero al final uh, todos son sinónimos, Miss. So no se preocupe. I am scared. I am afraid of. I am frightened of. Eh, todos se utilizan para decir miedo. So no es solo una respuesta correcta. So they are synonyms. Alrighty, guys. So here, um, if you take a look, vamos siguiendo el mismo orden, right? So where you was, it was yesterday, etc. So, um, dudas? Do you have any question? Any doubts, guys? Please ask questions. No questions at all. Nada, nada. Yes. If I, if I wanna ask the, the question, I can do in a long or short. Oh, the answer. Yeah. Okay, that's a very important thing. Uh, for example, if I ask you, hey, were you at home? So, ¿cómo puedo responderle? Both are fine, siempre cuando no sea una respuesta. Be important, that is just totally fine. Si usted dice, yes, I was, yes. Wait, can I just change it here? All right. Uh, you can say, yes, I was, because estamos hablando del pasado. O puede darme una respuesta larga. Yes, I was. I was at home all day long because I didn't work. So ambas, it's, they are just totally fine. Mi recomendación es siempre que la hagamos larga, que demos una respuesta mucho más. Eh, para que demos detalles y nos acostumbremos, right, uh, a armar más información. But both are fine. If I ask you, uh, was yesterday Thursday? ¿Cómo puedo responder que sí fue jueves? So, was yesterday Thursday? Guys, ayúdenme con la respuesta. So, yes, yes, it was. Yes, it, yes, it was. It was. Exactly. Yes, it was Thursday. Yes, yesterday was Thursday. Okay. Like what if I ask you this? Were you scared? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Or if it were negative, we use the same thing I mentioned before. 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 No, I wasn't at home. I wasn't mm. worried. Was yesterday Thursday? No, it wasn't Thursday. It was Wednesday. So, siempre podemos responder con cualquiera de las dos, right? Eh, dime, pregunta, pregunta. Okay, I think that's not. Okay, guys, so really quick, do me a big favor. Y vamos a escribir cinco preguntas. Intentemos escribir cinco where you questions. Preguntas solamente utilizando where you para que podamos practicar un poquito la like, conversation. Um, pueden utilizar was, eh, like, was your mom, was your sister, were your friends. 
siempre y cuando sean de conversación, you are totally fine with that. So guys, intentamos escribir five, right? Five equations. No les estoy pidiendo ahorita eh, preguntas de información como why, where, when, solamente sí o no, right? Only yes, no questions. Son cinco preguntas, guys, utilizando was or where. Si tienen dudas, let me know, because eh, luego iniciamos con la parte de did, and I want to make sure que hayamos despejado esta parte first. Teacher. Yes, yes. You see chat. Yes, ahorita I'm checking it right now. Mm, okay. It's okay or is it's mistake? Oh, okay, es que lo que pasa es que hay dos cositas. Um, oh. La oración está bien. Gramaticalmente. Oh. Ok. Eh, pero el detalle es que. O sea, es. Eh, um, no, uh, how can I explain it? O sea, uh, we're, bien? we're at home yesterday. I see. Yeah, the sentence is ok. Gramatically talking. Pero muchas veces tiene que ver como con qué quiero decir o qué quiero eh, okay. expresar, you know. And eh, hay algo que se llama pasado continuo, que son actividades en proceso. Entonces, okay. eh, where you going to home yesterday, está bien, pero me indica como un proceso. Entonces se siente como que le falta la otra parte. Eh, por lo general, el verbo was or were, el verbo to be, 
no se usa con otros verbos. Ellos son bien... Ah, okay. um, uh -huh, pero, pero, la, pero ese es el punto, you know? Esta oración está bien, solo que eh, se siente que le falta algo. That, ah, okay. that is the only thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, guys, do you have a couple of sentences? Ya tienen un par de oraciones, un par de preguntas. ¿Cómo les está yendo? Are you having a good time? Or is it difficult for you to make questions? Remember, estamos preguntando. Podemos preguntar de edad. Podemos preguntar de personality. We can ask eh, about eh, countries, right? So podemos ir preguntando. Eh, por el momento no vamos a agregar otros verbos, eso es súper importante. Eh, solamente el muy was forward y eso es todo. Eh, let me see where you, okay, so where you in the mall sounds good, Carla. That's a really good one. Can I say, was the coffee cup in the table? Was the coffee cup in the table? Yes, you can say was the coffee cup, solamente que utilicemos on, Javier, on the table, porque on es para superficies. So on the table is perfect. Was that my bag? Okay, sounds good. Were children? Okay, were the children in the school? Yes, very good. Okay. Okay, very nice, guys. Compartan, well, okay, compartan sus preguntas. Eh, okay, Lupita, sounds really good. Solamente que tenemos you. Y con you utilizamos where. So, were you tired? Estabas cansado. Were you tired yesterday? So where, right? Eh, Manuel, he was my friend. Pero como es pregunta, cambiemos el orden. ¿Cómo le quedaría? Solo cambiamos, was that your cat? Okay, yeah, that works a bit. Were you at the mall yesterday? Okay, were you good at science? Okay, was he my friend? Okay, yeah, those are really good. Yeah, they, they are very nice. Were you in the park? Okay, cool. Okay, guys, uh, let me see. I don't, oh, okay. Van a very good one. Eh, Van a solamente cambiamos el orden. You were sad, ese es para oración. Y como vamos a hacer preguntas, solo cambio los primeros dos. Were you? Estabas triste? Were you sad? Okay, was that your group? Okay, good. Very nice job. Okay, yes, that works a lot. All right, very good. Very, very good. Now, um, let's take a look at a couple of more things. Ahora, guys, uh, so esto es con el verb to be, right? But in English, aparte del verbo to be, que ya lo vamos a practicar a lot, tenemos dos eh, divisiones más. So, una de ellas ya se refiere a todos los verbos diferentes al verbo to be. And here, tenemos dos tipos de verbos. Tenemos regular verbs regular, y tenemos los que llamamos también irregular verbs, so, irregular verbs. Um, hemos estado ahorita practicando solo casi regular, right? Come, came, break, broke, bring, brought, porque son, eh, toma más tiempo memorizárselos. And now, regular verbs son bastante fáciles, they are quite easy, uh, because lo único que vamos a hacer con los verbos 
el ciclo es agregando ED. Se llaman regulares porque llevan algo en común, right? Hay algo que los va eh, rigiendo. So, si ustedes ven un verbo y este verbo lleva ED, lo más seguro es que sea el pasado. Most likely this is going to be the past of the verb. So, eh, Luis mencionaba algo importante and that was like, um, ¿qué sucede con la pronunciación? La pronunciación sí es un poco más complicado, it's kind of complicated, pero vamos a ir revisándolo, right? So we're gonna like go ahead and check all of those. Now, eh, so tenemos regular and irregular. ¿Cómo los identifico? Pues no hay forma, guys, solamente aprendiéndoselos. We need to memorize them. So take a look at the following. Les he preparado un par de preguntas utilizando eh, these kind of verbs. And las preguntas ya no llevan ni was ni were. So las preguntas ya van a cambiar. They are going to be a little different. So guys, look at this. Um, all these questions, todas están en pasado. All of them are in past. All right. No llevan ni was, no llevan ni where. So, ¿cuál es la diferencia, guys? What is the difference here? Inician con D. Inician con D. Exactly. Okay, an auxiliary. So, el did me dice que esto es pasado. Now, es súper importante. Vean el verbo, guys. Look at the verb. ¿El verbo está en presente o en pasado? ¿El verbo está normal o en past? Present. If you take a look, el verbo no se ha cambiado. So you have eat, rain, go, attend, store. Exactly. So, en preguntas nunca cambiamos los verbos. Lo único que hacemos es agregar did y el did ya eh, me indica que es un pasado, right? No me complico la vida. Now, again, como la pregunta es did, solo quiero saber de pasados, y mi respuesta va a ser bien simple right now. So my answer is going to be yes. Pide sobre mí, yes, I did. Ya no va a ser I do. Yes, I did. Y si fuera negativa, no, I didn't. All right, y eso es todo. That's it. So, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Oh, so, nos olvidamos por un momento del verb to be, right? Porque ahora sí ya tenemos verbos diferentes. So, Luis, guys, yes, yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, didn't, uh, no lleva N. Perdona, yes, me, okay. I missed it. Thank you so much, yes. So, yes, I did, and no, I didn't. So, guys, let me ask you some questions y me ayudan respondiéndome like, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Remember que desde el momento que usted escucha did you, ya la pregunta es de pasado. No quiero hablar de, no estoy preguntando de ahorita ni de mañana, y la pregunta es sobre el pasado. So guys, quick question. Did you eat breakfast today? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, all right. Solo dos respondieron. I bet the rest maybe. Okay, no, next one. Okay, you didn't. Okay. Next question, guys. Did it rain last night? Did it rain in your no, house? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, it didn't. Ahí vamos a cambiarle. Very good. Porque ya no sería el I, porque la pregunta sería más con el it. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Este no cambia, se usa el mismo para todos, entonces es súper fácil. So, no, it didn't. Okay. No llovió donde nadie, guys. It didn't rain, like, nowhere. No. Okay. Okay, very good. Next question. Did you go on a trip last weekend? Did you go on a trip, guys? No, I didn't. No, no I didn't. you didn't? Nobody? Nobody. <laughs> no more. Yeah, nobody? <laughs> okay. No. Yes, I no. did, teacher. Yes, where wow. did you go? I, I went to Cerro Verde. Oh, very nice. Did you go camping? No, just for hiking. Oh, okay, okay. Well, but that's really cool. I want to go, but, you know, I need to work. <laughs> so I couldn't, but I'm happy for you. 
Okay, guys, next one. Um, did you let me change that one because that is not making any sense here. Okay. Uh, did you buy anything today? Did you buy anything today? Mm. Yes, I did. Mm. No, what? they didn't. You didn't. What did you buy? I buy a teacher. Ah, okay. Como ahora me va a dar más detalles, ahora sí me tiene que hacer el cambio pasado. Cuando yo respondo, yes, yes, I did, no, I didn't, eso es ahí murió. Pero si me va a decir yo compré, ahora okay. sí me va a cambiar. Ajá, ¿cuál es el paso? Bye. Guys, ayudan, helpas, helpas. Bye. Oh, yeah. mm, bye, Bye, no. But, very good. Oh, uh -huh. So, yo compré, that is? Yes, I did. I bought a t-shirt. Uh, very nice. Exactly. Yes, I did. I bought a t-shirt. So, ahí sí damos más detalles. No lo voy a hacer cuando sea negativa. Pero cuando usted me quiera dar detalles, like yo compré, yo fui, yo vine, etc. Ahí sí. Okay, next question, guys. Did you... Um, did you begin... Did you begin completing the platform? Uh, no, I yes, did. Yes. No, no, I no, did. No, I did. No, why, guys? We need to complete it. <laughs> okay, esperando que me digan, yes, I did, you Hasta know. La okay. Ah, no, 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 but you began. So, pero ya comenzaron, but you began. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that was the question. Next yes, one. Keisha. Okay, very nice, very nice. Did you drink Coca-Cola today? No, I did. No, I did. I don't yes, like it. I didn't. I didn't. You, you don't like it? No. No, I didn't. You didn't? Guys, como digo, no tenía dinero para comprarla. I don't have money. Pero en pasado? Ah, uh, entonces sería. ¿Qué creen que sería? ¿Cómo creen que es, digo eh, this one in past? Revisamos la respuesta que yes, I did. I didn't yes, have money. I didn't have money. Very nice. I, I didn't, didn't have. have. Yo no tenía dinero. Okay. I didn't have money. Okay. Uh, and that's so real. Next one. Did you, um, let me see. Did you call your boss today? <laughs> No. Did you call your boss? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. You didn't. Uh, did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you have a meeting today? No, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. You didn't have a meeting. No, I didn't. All right. Thank you for answering, guys. Very nice. So, ¿cómo hacemos las preguntas? Bastante uh, simple here. La diferencia es que el was y el were ya no lo lleva. Ahora voy a utilizar did para todos los verbos. So, súper importante. Eh, una oración lleva solo un verbo. Si usted ve que ya lleva el verbo to be, no va a ponerle nada más. No le va a poner did, right? We cannot do it. So, el verb to be, was and were, se usa por lo general con adjetivos. We use it for adjectives, personality, etc. Y el did, para hacer la diferencia here, guys, el did lo usamos para dos cosas. Questions, con todos los verbos, all verbs, excepto el verbo to be, right? En negative sentences. Otra vez que no sean el verbo to be. So we use did for those scenarios. So, todas las preguntas que ustedes pueden hacer con did, ninguno va a llevar el verbo to be. So, I say did you, y luego necesito un verbo. Eso es todo. That's it. Y ya está hablando en pasado. Um, so, did you go to the mall? Did you go to the church this week? 
did you come, uh, did you go to work early? Did you talk to your boss? I did you swim? Yes, Javier, tell me. Uh, I can use uh, the verb do. Did you, did you do? Or... Yes, súper importante en esta parte. Porque los verbos en ningún momento se cambian. Entonces, si usted le presta un poquito de atención a las conversaciones que acabamos de practicar, ahí estaba el do, de hecho, como pregunta. Let me take a look here. Uh, okay. 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 Si usted se fija, what did you do yesterday? Porque el did lo único que hace es decirme, esto es pasado, hey, esto es pasado. Oh, okay. Y el do es así, es el verbo. ¿Qué hiciste? Yo perfectamente le puedo cambiar el do por otro verbo. ¿Cómo lo cambiarían, guys? Uh, cambiemos este do, ayúdenme a cambiar el do. Deme un segundo, solo lo encierro acá. Esto, recuérdense que gramática es una repetición. Entonces, solamente vamos cambiando. So, ayúdenme a cambiar el do. What did you, watch. It, what yes. did you watch yesterday? What did you, ¿qué más? Cambiamos verbos. What did you eat yesterday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Give me more. ¿Qué What did you drink yesterday? Yes. What did you buy yesterday? What did you buy yesterday? Exactly. Y todo pues es lo mismo. ¿Qué comiste? ¿Qué viviste? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué enviaste? ¿Qué viste? So, es lo mismo. Entonces, el do, acá sí es el verbo, right? But, eh, esta es la forma de hacer las preguntas. So, what did you? Y el did ya me dice que esto es pasado. So, that's the one. Mm -hmm. No sé si um, uh, le respondí la pregunta o... Yes, thank eh, you. Por otro lado. Ok, you're welcome. Guys, preguntas, dudas. Teacher. Excuse me, uh, one person uh, asked you for more example about what and what. Uh, where? By message. I don't have it. Let me take a look. My phone is not working, so. Oh, okay. Uh, but what do you mean by weird? Okay, so yes, I see the part of the of the examples with was and weird, but I see like escenarios raros. Uh, can you tell me how or what do you mean by that? <laughs> Because uh, in general, guys, uh, for the part of was and were, es, es, lo mismo que pasa, es lo mismo que el verbo to be en presente. Exactamente the same thing uh, es hacerlo en pasado, es cambiarlo. And la idea es que practiquemos todas las cosas juntas, you know, eh, para no irlo separando. Pas pasados al igual que presente no deberíamos separarlo. De esto ya vamos a llegar, llegar a esa parte, no worries. Um, guys, in the meantime, con respecto a las preguntas uh, con Did, saliéndonos un poco de la parte de pasados, ¿tiene alguien preguntas? Do you have any question? No se queden con las dudas. Go for it. Yes, Javier. Este, como hay un pasado, bueno, un presente progresivo, creo. Mm, el presente pasado. Pasado, uh -huh. pasado, pero del mismo día. Mm. O, o no sé si estoy confundido si se puede, por ejemplo si uso el did, lo puedo usar para el mismo día mm. por ejemplo did you eat uh, in breakfast, sí verdad De, del mismo oh. no sé si estoy confundido es, mm, creo que en tiempo quizás, en los, en los tenses sí. Pero, pero sí a mí el uso de pasado es algo que Probablemente estamos hablando hace dos minutos, tres minutos, pero ya es pasado, porque ya no se repite en nuestra vida, right? Mm -hmm. So, el, todo el tiempo que ya esté atrás, dos, tres minutos, ya se considera pasado. 
Okay. So, yeah, usamos los pasados para ese tiempo. Creo que um, quizás lo está viendo como pasado progresivo. No sé si era eso, like, yo estuve haciendo esto. Uh -huh. o, o probablemente hay una confusión there. A veces se nos, como se nos, eh, se nos cambian, right? Quizás sí. los términos probablemente, pero sí, sí todo lo que sea, okay. like, algo que ya pasó, okay. that's considered past. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, you're welcome. So guys, one more time. Did me indica que esto es, un, es pasado, right? Y para hacer preguntas, necesito el verbo sin ningún tipo de cambio. Acá no van a utilizar ni did, ni went, ni began. Aquí el verbo se usa normalito, like in a normal form. Guys, really quick. Um, let me just go over the expressions, time expressions. Si estamos hablando de pasado, past, también tiene un par de time expressions that we normally use. ¿Cuáles son algunas de estas time expressions? Uh, we can use, for example, de las más comunes, yesterday, right? El día de ayer. Podemos decir la semana pasada, el mes pasado, el año pasado. Esto lo voy armando con last. Por ejemplo, quiero decir el lunes pasado, last Monday. Y recordarles siempre que son días, yo utilizo on. Eh, or simplemente, eh, si es como esta combinación, ese lo quito. So, yesterday, last Monday. Si es el mes pasado, last month. Si fuera el mes pasado, guys, vamos siempre haciendo la misma combinación. Last year last, etc., etc., etc. So we can use yesterday, we can use last. Um, let me think. Eh, in Spanish, usamos la expresión anteayer. So we can use the, the expression to the day before. So son algunas de las expresiones de tiempo que utilizamos. So, yo perfectamente puedo preguntar, like, ¿cocinaste ayer? Did you cook breakfast or did you make breakfast yesterday? Did you cook for your family last month? Did you cook for your family last year? Um, or si quiero preguntar del año pasado en una fecha específica, last Christmas, siempre le vamos agregando last. Last December, last Christmas. Las, on my last birthday, so mi último cumpleaños, etc. Guys, eh, si no hay dudas, if no questions, if no doubts, creemos cinco preguntas con Dido. Let's try to make five questions y escríbanlas en el chat, porfa. I want to read them. Quiero leerlas tú. I want to read them and make sure eh, we are on the same page. Si tienen dudas, preguntas, let me know, guys. Cinco preguntas, that's enough.
Um, already, sir, have it very nice. Actually, they look good. Uh, David, very good job. Quizás solo quitemos el on para este caso específico para on. A uh, menos que sea solito. We can leave it like that. Oh, let me take a look. Did you wake up early in the morning? Okay, looks good. Did you go to the beach in the afternoon? Okay, very good. Oh, very nice. Good questions. Did you come to class yesterday? Okay. Did they? Okay. Um, so, Carla, solamente la segunda me falta el verbo. Did they do the homework? Did they complete the homework? So, me falta un verbo en medio, right? Uh, did they eat the burger? The burger? But it's okay. The rest are good. Solamente eso. Did you like Mexican food? Did you like Mexican food? Okay, so Jorge, la pregunta está bien, aunque um, you like, te gustó la comida mexicana. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Did you put the key on the tablet? Did you put the key? Did you put the key on the tablet? Um, Lupita, what do you mean by did you put the key on the tablet? Eh, quise decir, uh, la llave. Pusiste la llave sobre la mesa. Oh, the table. Ah, okay, okay. So do you put the key on the table? Solo table, no? All right. Yes, pero es que lleva una T y parece table, como de, de el dispositivo. Oh, sí. <laughs> I mean, está, ah, está súper bien. Solo la T lo leí como table. <laughs> no, pero entonces está bien. So we are good. We are fine. Just take a look. Did you repair the car? Okay. Where are you going to? Did you have a meeting yesterday? Did you? Um, Manuel, very good job. Uh, solo con breakfast, me le falta el verbo. Did you eat breakfast or did you have breakfast? Uh, Bane, lo mismo, me falta el verbo. Did you train on Thursday? Pero, ¿qué hizo en el tren? Lo tomó, se bajó, lo vendió. So, did you take? Did you go? Did you? I mean, me falta como la actividad, right? Eh, lo demás está bien, solo es que le pongan el, el verbo en medio. Uh, did they play? Ok. Did you have to go to the hospital yesterday? Ok, it's good. Did you make a cake on Saturday? Ok, very, very, very nice. Did you buy food? Ok, Carla, we are good. Did you cut the vegetables? Did you go to church? The Sunday, did you pay ticket? Ok. Looks good. Guys, me faltan las oraciones del resto. I'm missing the rest of your sentences, questions. I'm missing Camilo's. I'm missing uh, Isaías. Uh, I'm missing Mr. Cruz too. So you can leave your, um, your questions there. Okay. Okay, guys, do this. Questions? Did you do the whole work in the learning platform? Okay, did you play football? Did you go to the day with her? Did you go to the day with my friend? With my friend. Okay, with my friend, probably without her. Wow, it looks good. I really like it. Okay, did you go to church? Okay, so Luis, solamente los días siempre le agregamos on, right? On Sunday. Did you, okay. Mr. Casaneda, como tenemos perder, en este caso, si no eh, lost, vuélvalo al presente. 
did you lose the passport? Because eh, did no me va a permitir tener los. Tiene que ser el verbo en presente. Lo demás está súper bien. Solo cambiémoslo al presente. Did you take a shower after exercise? Okay, very good. All right, guys. So vamos a entrevistar a los compañeros. We're going to, yes, correct, lose. We are going to interview them because it's important to que practiquemos listening. So we need to listen to your classmates, entender qué me está preguntando and try to answer. La mayoría de las preguntas van a ser como did you, right? So remember, si la pregunta es did you, did you play soccer, did you play basketball, did you go to work, did you, etc. So puedo responder yes, I did, respuesta corta, no, I didn't. Respuesta corta también. But super important, guys, intenten dar más información. Eso significa que van a tener que hacer cambio de verbos. So cuando digan, ah, sí, yo fui a este lugar. So I went. Se cambia precisamente cuando uno ya responde. So, guys, de las preguntas que tienen, las preguntas que acaban de crear, the questions you just created, vamos al a crear dos grupos super rapidito en uh, talk to these guys y pueden entrevistarlos hagan las preguntas tomen nota take notes para que luego nos puedan compartir qué es lo que ellos dijeron right si no saben cómo eh, cuál es el pasado de algún verbo todavía no worries pueden entrar a Google super quick buscar el verbo and we can work it out So, tenemos cinco minutos, guys. We got five minutes para entrevistar a los compañeros. Five minutes to go for the interview. And let's go. Let's go, guys. Five minutes.
Thank you guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Um, estábamos revisando un par de preguntas. We were checking just a couple of questions. So really quick guys, let's have a 20 question exercise. So guys, eh, háganme las preguntas que tengan, ask me the questions you have, y luego yo les pregunto. And then I will be interviewing you guys. So, ¿qué preguntas tienen? What questions do you have for me? Claro, vamos a hablar de pasado, right? We're going to try to include a past tenses. So, are you ready? Did you see it? I had a question. Yes, miss? Okay. When I use these or those, um, uh, hay que usar, hay que ser bien enfático en decir was or where. Porque una pregunta del examen decía this, this car, for example. O, pero, uh -huh. pero utilizaban this. Entonces, supongo, asumo yo que this es singular, right? Entonces, por eso se usaba el dos. Pero para el pasado sería was. En this uh -huh. y dos en, con where. Uh, yeah, that is correct. So, para okay. los que son singulares, esa es la idea. Was es para singulares, where es para plurales. Y los que se considera singular, solamente son dos, que serían this and that. They are singular. Y los que son plurales son these y those. Y con ellos sí vamos a utilizar where. Mm -hmm. Ok, this and that sería was. Ajá. Uh -huh. This was, oh, this was okay. This was boring. This was interesting. Pero si son con these, esos son plurales. Those are plural. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. No problem. There you go. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Can you save the question? Can you repeat it? A boy had a question, but I couldn't identify who. So can you say it again? Questions, guys. Okay, so ask me the questions. Pregúntenme los, lo, lo que escribieron. Ask me those questions y luego I'll interview you guys. So go ahead, please. Did you see the newspaper? Uh, no, I didn't. I don't read newspapers. I don't like it. Continue, guys. Continue. De las mismas que tienen, right? The same questions you have. Go ahead, guys. Teacher, no, I yes. didn't, I don't read, or el don't, no sería siempre didn't, o, o como uso el um, verbo. No, no en este escenario, porque ya no, mi, pre, mi respuesta ya no solamente es pasado. Me refiero a que yo mm. nunca veo los periódicos, eso hablo de mi oh. rutina. Mm -hmm. So, puedo combinar varios tiempos sin problema. Uh, okay, so next question. Preguntas, guys, de las que escribieron con Did, Vanessa, Camilo, Luis, Wendy, Lupita. Lupita, yo sé que quiere preguntar. Go ahead. <laughs> so, what do you have? <laughs> guys, me escuchan. Fíjense que mi audio me está dando problemas, but. Si no me escuchan, avísenme. Let me know, please. Eh, quería que dijéramos las preguntas, teacher. Yes, yes, please, Bunny. Eh, did you go to the movie with your family at the weekend? Oh, no. <laughs> the last time I went to a movie theater was maybe 10 years ago. A long time ago. So, no, sorry, I didn't. Very good question. Continue, continue. Eh, las otras son las que dije ahí en el aula. La no hay problema, decir. say it. Eh, did you brush your tea in the morning? Ah, yes, I did. I brush my teeth uh, three times a day or four times normally. So, yes, I do all the time. Very good. And your other question? Did you travel on last month? Did I travel last month? Last month with the summer. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have money. 
<laughs> I mean, todavía no tengo. I still don't have. <laughs> no, but I didn't. I was saving some money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss, uh, yes? did you drive to job this morning? Um, no, I didn't drive in the morning because I rode a motorcycle. But in the afternoon, yes, I drove back to my house. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Guys, more questions. Eric, Carla, Isaias, what questions do you have? Jorge, David tenía muy buenas preguntas too, I remembered. So what do you have, guys? Manuel, you, what are your um, questions? Yes? Did you buy, ¿cómo se puede decir que es al mercado? To the market. Ah, did you buy to the market? Oh, um, did you shopping? Uh, well, yeah, ambas se pueden. Did you go to the market? Es súper específico. Or podemos ir a agregar también, did you do the, did you, did you do, wait, do the groceries? So la expresión groceries es bien común y es como ir a hacer las compras de verdura, fruta en all those things. Ah, like, do the, para no decir shopping, right? Because shopping se entiende más como supermercado. Dígame, Jorge. Okay. Did, did you play soccer yesterday? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I don't have too much free time, so I didn't. Okay. Um, yeah, but answering Lupita's question, eh, what was your question, Lupita, about the, super, the market? Did you buy to the, to the market? Oh, not yesterday, but I did two weeks ago. I like going to the market because you can buy cheap fruit and vegetables. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, more questions, guys. Go, 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 go. And then I start. Did you like see soccer on um, TV? No, really. I don't like it. I watched no. Aguila a long time ago, <laughs> uh, but not anymore. Uh -huh. Soccer so, Beach? No. Um, I saw a couple of matches, um, but because the, the, the team is really good, but... Uh, but yeah. I, am, I, I am not a big fan of soccer. Mm -hmm. That's oh. why. Okay. Yeah, but, but yeah, I do from time to time. Did you like seafood? I, I still like it. Yes, Lupita? Did you like bread? Bread is no fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Solo que la pregunta, did you, es como si antes me gustaba. Mm -hmm. Ah, bread. sí, esto no tiene lógica. No tiene lógica. I mean, la estructura está bien, pero quizás la pregunta sería de agregar un poquito más, right? Did oh, you oh, eat breakfast? No, did you eat bread in the morning? For example? Did you eat bread in the morning? O si le pone como, did you like bread? Quizás como agregarle cuando era niña. Did you like to eat bread when you were a girl? Or did you like to eat bread when you were on a diet? I don't know. I was here, right? Si está bien, solamente de agregar un poquito de contexto. We just need to add some context. Okay. Miss, ¿y yes. se puede preguntar algo así como, did you ever cook? Yes, of course. El ever enfatiza y es como, ¿alguna vez en tu vida cocinaste? Y más adelante van a ver algo más que se usa, que es como, have you ever cooked? Eh, que son experiencias, pero no me quiero meter en ese tema. Pero sí se puede com también combinar con ever, solo que no es mm, tan común, I have to say. Not very common. Okay, guys. Now, I do have some questions for you. So, let me see. Let me see. I'll get started with David. So, David, where did you go on your last vacation? Where? Where did you go on your last vacation? I worked at the beach. Oh, okay. Here in, in the country. Yes, in our okay. country. Uh, okay, okay, cool. And uh, let me see. 
Okay, so Jorge, Jorge, did you like English when you were young? Yes, I did, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Really? Okay, interesting. Um, yeah. Carla, did you like math when you were in the school? Did you yes, like I math? Did. Really? Oh my God. Okay. Um, Debra, did you play any sport in the school? Yes, sister. Yes, I did. did. I played soccer. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. I didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> um, Vanessa, Vanessa, did you watch the movie The Titanic? Yes, I did. Did you like it? Yes. Really? Oh my God. Guys, nunca lo he visto. I have never seen Titanic. Can you believe it? Um, Camilo, Camilo, did you cry with any movie? Did you cry? No, I didn't. No, really? No. Guys, with soap opera teacher. Okay, with soap opera. Con cual lloraron? What did you cry with? Guys, did you cry with any movie? No se admiten devoluciones. Uh, did oh. you cry? Teacher, uh -huh. did you cry? Wow, with de yo ti. antes de ti. Oh, you cried with me okay. for you. Yes, me for you. I oh, cried a lot. <laughs> okay, guys, I cried with Coco. <laughs> So what did okay? Did you cry? Teacher, I didn't Boys? watch it. You didn't. Just show. Yeah. It's a really good one. Y los hombres. What about men? You yeah. have never cried, guys. Nunca llorado con una película. Yo acabo de llorar con una película hace unos días. What was the movie? Ay, cómo se llama esos hombrecitos azules. Es la nueva. Y los ah, la de ah, camino ah, en el océano, esa avatar. Oh, okay. Es súper bonito. El final es bien. Okay. Okay. Avatar. Interesting, interesting. Um, so, okay. Hemos descubierto que men don't cry. Okay, next one. Es género. Yo prefiero malas de terror y ahí no se llora. Oh, oh. sí. <laughs> A mí no me gusta de miedo. You are I, right. You're I right. cry with the onion. With the, ah, with the onion. <laughs> and Castaneda said that he cried with the with the Mundial, right? With the sí. World Cup. Okay. Sí. Okay. That's okay. Okay, guys. Next one. Did you let me ask this question to ta, 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 ta. okay? So Lupita. Lupita, did you have did you have a favorite toy? Or a favorite doll when you were young? Maybe when you were in kindergarten. Did you have a favorite toy? Yo no fui al kinder. No? Okay, first grade. Pero sí tenía, dice favorito, ¿no? Yes, your favorito? favorite toy. Mm -hmm. The Barbie. Oh, a Barbie. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, interesting. Mi muñeca la terminé, yo no destrozando, yo me la comía. No, I chew it. Yo le quitaba la las cositas y la volví a cambiar. <ríe> so I chew it. Yo sí la mordía. But ya no se van a contar más detalles de eso. Ok, guys. Very nice job. Ahora sí, practiquemos un poquito. Eh, ya no preguntas, sino like normal past tense. ¿Tienen dudas, guys, de cómo utilizarlo? Remember? Vamos paso a paso. Eh, ahorita solo como la general thing is, no nos hemos metido en pronunciación much, porque más que pronunciación, quiero que um, se familiarice, right? Con los cambios que vamos a ir haciendo. So, tengo una actividad para ustedes, but la vamos a hacer. We are going to do it um, in groups. Now, eh, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, guys. If you take a look, Si revisan, here in the picture, van a ver seis fotos. There are four pictures. Lo que quiero que hagan es the following. En grupo, 
van a crear una historia. You are going to make a short story. Ustedes deciden si es a horror, um, a fantasy story, um, or what kind of a story it is. El único requisito es, well, actually hay dos. The first tiene que estar en pasado. The story has to be in past. Y la segunda tiene que utilizar todas las pictures. You need to use all the pictures en el orden que quieran, right? In the order you want. So, uh, hopefully, vayamos a poder presentarle ahora. Creo que 10 minutitos es suficiente para que la creen, right? So you can make it up and then la presentamos. So, incluyamos todas las pictures. Todo en pasado se pueden ir auxiliando de um, Google para y las listas de verbos, right? Pueden buscar otras listas de verbos para que vayan utilizando past tenses. Again, no se preocupen por la pronunciación ahorita, solamente de utilizarlo en poder uh, compartir ideas en paz, right? So, guys, esta es la foto. This is the picture. Tenemos 10 minutitos. We have 10 minutes to make a short story using all these pictures. So, creémoslo en grupo. Ayúdense, right? Pónganse de acuerdo qué tipo de historia you want to make. And then we we'll go ahead and make it. Les voy a compartir um, the pictures para que ustedes no tengan que compartirla. Y ustedes deciden, right? Si quieren escribirlo or si usan la pantalla or what you're going to be using. Guys, vámonos. Let's go.
already, guys. So thanks a lot for that. Guys, ¿cómo estuvo su práctica? ¿Pudieron empezar a crearla? ¿Pudieron, you know, la terminaron o se quedaron a medias? Did you finish the story? Yes, Miss. Nosotros sí. Sí, okay. la terminamos. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Terminamos Very llorando. Very nice. Desde el final. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I, I really want to listen. Quiero escuchar, like, what's going on. Okay. Very good. So, no vamos a, a decirles ahora porque eh, quiero que hagamos lo siguiente. And uh, probablemente la pronunciación, eh, si se habrán dado cuenta, va a cambiar un poquito con verbos regulares. So, antes que veamos como las reglas and everything, quiero que escuchen, quiero que um, se eh, tengan un poco de exposición, right? So, what I want you to do, guys, es pueden ponerlo en un traductor y lo escuchen, no para traducirlo, sino para escucharlo. Or, they pueden tener un verbo en poner el pasado y escuchar, right? Presente, pasado y escuchar la pronunciación, just to see how it goes. Y les compartimos las historias el día de lunes. So, si ya las tienen escritas por ahí, guárdenlas, right? Y keep them. Y las vamos a sharear on a Monday. Um, so, guys, ¿les gustó mucho crear la historia? ¿Was it kind of hard por los verbos? ¿O no mucho? Sí, nos costó. Yeah. ¿Pero por los verbos o por algo, yeah. por otra razón? Sí, por los verbos, porque tenemos, a ver, tenemos que buscar. Mm, ok, ok. No, por los verbos. Por los okay. verbos y, y, y la imaginación que usa. Okay. Tiene que ir a lo <risa> Tiene que concordar. Tiene toda la razón. Es de encontrar las palabras, right, para que tenga sentido. Ok, pero una vez usted lo organice, sí, es más que like, buscar las palabras, right. ¿Cuál es el pasado de este verbo? ¿Cuál es el pasado del otro? Lo bueno, guys, es que uh, present, past y todos los tiempos, inglés solo tiene dos formas. Y, en, y pasado es más fácil porque solo es una. Imagine in Spanish decimos yo como, well, no, yo comí, tú comiste, él comió, nosotros comimos. Ellos comieron. Tenemos siete. We have seven, if I'm not mistaken. And in English solo es una. Y es la que vamos a aprender, right? That's the one that we need to memorize. So, dedíquenle un par de minutitos, guys. No les va a tomar mucho. Eh, les comentaba antes, hagan planitas para que sea más fácil. So, make some lines. Or, the, you know, algo que a mí, a mí personalmente me funcionó porque yo necesito ver dibujos. Eh, compré un pedazo de cartulina, right? Eh, no vale más de a quarter. Y e hice tarjetitas. So, con, comencé con 10, 10, 10, right? So, comenzaba, por ejemplo, en la primera tarjetita, el verbo de un lado presente, del otro lado el pasado. E, y cuando las veía, me iba recordando, like, go, went, do, did. And at the end, acumulé creo que mil tarjetas. So, I was accumulating a lot para recordar vocabulario. Entonces, encuentren la forma, guys, que les funcione para hacerlo fácil, right? Enjoyable y sobre todo que no les cueste mucho ir memorizando. Um, guys, unfortunately, por el tiempo, eh, les voy a tomar ya asistencia. So we are about to finish. Solamente pedirles, guys, encarecidamente su apoyo con la plataforma. Si no la han completado, la unidad 1 todavía me faltan. So please, trabajemos en la 1. Y para el día martes, miércoles, tengamos lista la unidad 2. Si pueden terminar, pues mucho mejor, right? Eh, that's even better. Y ya se quedan más tranquilos. Um, that I think it's always better. So, eh, guys, ayúdenme con la confirmación verbal, please. Regálenme la like, verbal confirmation. Se pueden con su camarita también. Give me confirmation. And one second. Let me just check it out super quick. Okay. Semana, uh, Camilo. 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 Cam
Okay, no thank you. Débora. Sí, Creo que alguien me dejó el micrófono abierto, guys. I am here, guys. teacher. Gracias, Deb. Eh, Edwin. Good night. Have a good one. Eh, Lupita. Here, miss. Gracias. Eric. Good night. Have a good one. Eric, Eric. Ok. Eh, es Abigail. Griselda. I don't see Abigail. I don't see Griselda. Okay. Uh, Isaías. Okay. Uh, El Ivet. Present teacher. Gracias, mi. Javier. Present. Gracias, Javier. Eduardo. Well, sorry. No, ya, yeah, Eduardo, no se acaba. Ok, so Jorge. Present teacher. Gracias, Carla. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Luis Castaneda. Present, Miss. Present. Thank you. Luis Cruz. Present teacher. Gracias, Luis. And uh, I got Vanessa. Present. Gracias, Miss. Manuel. Present, Miss. Thank you. Ah, pero ya está en un dispositivo, right? So you're in one. Sí, no me ha salido el otro. Yes, okay. Eh, Wendy. Mm. No, I don't see her. And Suleyma. She's not here. Okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot. Gracias a todos por la attendance. Eh, que descansen, guys. Agradecerles enormemente. Nos vemos hasta la próxima semana. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Descansen. Okay. Sleep Have well. Nice Gracias Good night. Por Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. See you. See you. See you. Good night, Miss. Have a good one. Bye bye.